Welcome to the Getting Started Guide for the Alpha Card ID Suite Version 10 Light Edition. What you'll learn How to create a new card template, How to add objects to your card template, How to edit objects on your card template, How to create a new record, How to print your card design. To begin, click Add Card. On the first page of the Setup Wizard, provide a name for your template. Optionally, you can provide a category to store the template under. Click the Next button. Select Single or Double Sided Card Design. Also select if you want the card to be Portrait or Landscape. Click the Next button. Select if you want a static background color. Choose the color you want for the background. Select the specific color. Click the Apply button. If you want to provide an image instead, select I want to load a background image. Click the Browse button. Select the image you want to use. Click the Open button. Click the Next button. Use the logo for any static image that will be the same on every card. Click the Browse button. Select the image file you want to use. Click the Open button. Click the Next button. Click Add a photo if you want to add a custom variable photo to the card. Select the photo option from the drop down list. Click the Next button. Choose any fields that you want to appear on the card. Click the Next button. Select if you want to add a 1D barcode onto the card. Click the Finish button. The designer will open with all of the options you have selected on the card. Reposition the elements to the desired places by clicking onto the objects and dragging them around the design. You can resize any box by clicking on the blue squares and dragging them the desired direction. You can add any missing elements by going to the Insert tab. Select the type of object you wish to add to the card. Draw a box on the card where you want the new object. The Insert New Object window will open. The drop-down field will allow you to select what information you want displayed in the barcode field. Click the Close button. To edit any objects on the card, select the Properties option. The Properties window will appear. Select the object that you want to edit. Select the drop-down box to change what information is contained within a field. You can also modify the properties of the objects, such as borders and colors. Select the Border tab. Enter the desired border thickness. Select the Colors tab. Select the desired color of the border using the drop-down menu. Once you have finished your design changes, select the Exit object to close the design. Remember to save all changes before exiting. In the main screen, you can select the existing records to view. To add a new record, click the New button. To print a record, select Print. Select Print Card. Click the OK button. To design a new card completely from scratch, select the Configuration tab. 
Select Add Card. Enter in a new template name. Click through all Next buttons until you get to the Finish button. Do not select any options on the screen. Click the Finish button. The designer will open. To change the orientation of the card, select Page Layout. Select Orientation. Choose either Portrait or Landscape for the card. To add a background, select the Background drop-down menu. Select if you want a single color background. Choose the color you want. Select if you want a gradient color option. Select if you want an image as a background. Click Select Image. Select the background image that you want to use. Select Open. To add objects to the card, select the Insert tab. To add a photo or a logo, select the Image button. Draw a box on the card where you want the image to appear. Select the drop-down to choose the information that you want in the image box. Select the field in the database that contains the photo. Use the text box to add any required text onto the card. Draw the text box onto the card. Select the database field containing the information you want on the card. If you want to have more than one field in a text box, select the Concatenate option. Select the drop-down to select the field you want to concatenate or combine with the first field. Select the Linear Barcode option to add a 1D barcode onto the card. Select the field you want to use for a barcode. Save the design when you are finished. Close the designer to return to the main interface. From the main interface, you can select which design you want to use and print cards using either design. Thank you for watching the Alpha Card ID Suite Version 10 Getting Started Guide Light Edition.